I think what happened was a lot of times people just want to fit in and I think in my brother's case uh, his drug use may have started in Toledo while we were uh, attending school there. He started to experiment with different things to kind of escape the mental state that he was in of not feeling good enough and not feeling like he was belonging anywhere and that's when I think he ventured into harder drug use and subsequently addiction. My brother then decided to venture deeper into drug use, eventually overdosing on fentanyl-laced heroin. And my brother passed away from that. 2019, he was uh, three months shy of his 22nd birthday. Not only was he afraid to speak out uh, about what he was going through, I think he most likely would have been met with um, confrontational uh, attitudes, hostility, uh, and I don't think he would have gotten help, so to speak. I think he would have just been punished and reprimanded. And that is, a lot of it has to do with uh, the stigma that uh, surrounds uh, drug use and addiction in particular. A lot of people do think um, that addiction and drug use in general are moral failures, and I don't think he would have gotten that much help. If it's a mental illness or it's mental health issues, uh, you're battling yourself, right? So sometimes you just need someone to come help you out. And in, in our case, um, people feel like that is the last thing they want to do is talk about it. So it is, it is shameful on us that we've created the situation, but it's also our responsibility to help change it. I think the first step is always empathy, trying to put yourself in somebody else's shoes and trying to understand where they're coming from. And that's going to take time. Um, you know, we don't really judge people uh, for having cancer. We don't, you know, go bash, and bash on them and tell them, you know, you shouldn't have been, you know, smoking cigarettes or you shouldn't have been not putting on sunscreen or, you know, you shouldn't have been damaging your organs. Uh, we treat it as it is. It's an illness and it's a very serious one. And I think once we cross over to viewing addiction in the same vein, uh, we can start to make strides.